Hey everybody, it is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness and today I have one of my best food prepping tips that I'm gonna give you. Um, before I get into that, I wanted to let you know I have a brand new program. It's called Turn Your Life Around in Six and you can check it out at shapeitupfitness.com slash call. Just click that button and you'll be taken right to the page. Um, so today is Sunday and this is what you get on a Sunday with me as I'm cleaning my house so the hair's a hot mess. Anyway, <laughs> going on to our food prepping tip for the day. Um, so I like to food prep a lot of times because it helps me with the week. Um, depending on how busy, I know this week I have a very busy schedule. And if I food prep in advance, then I don't have to like cook meals every day. Like I don't cook dinner really anymore. Um, so what I do is I make a bunch of food and then I put it in the fridge and then we all kind of pick out what we want. And um, my dog's getting ready to bark. <laughs> um, but we pick out what we want to eat, put it on a plate, reheat it either on the stove or in the microwave. It's very efficient and also you don't have to worry about who wants to eat what or if somebody doesn't like whatever you make for that one dinner. So really works well for my family. But so what I do is like this morning, I made three heads of cauliflower, roasted cauliflower in the oven. And I'll show you, look, they look delicious. Though so my husband did um, attack most of them already, which is fine, that's what they're there for. But, um, so what I do is, so for instance, I roasted the cauliflower, I let it cool, and then I either put it in this big, huge Tupperware container, or depending on what it is, if it's still hot, a lot of times I will use the Pyrex um, glass and cover it with foil. There's the theory of, you know, you don't want to put hot food into plastic containers. Um, but then what I do is I write on the lid in, <laughs> whoops, sorry, <laughs> dry erasable marker. Um, and what I do is, so the top of the lid says this is cauliflower and the date is on there. And then what I do, and I, yeah, it kind of rubbed off a little bit on this one as I was holding it. But then I also write it on the side of the cauliflower. I don't know if you can see that. And it's probably backwards because I'm using my phone. So what happens when I put this into the fridge, everyone can see what's in it. I can also see when it expires. Um, I will tell you though, a lot of times when it's on the side, it does get wiped off sometimes, which is why I put it on the top. I put it on the top so it can be red. Again, this is going to be backwards on the, the film. I guess iPhone hasn't figured out how to flip the camera around and make it look right. So, but this is very helpful too at the end of the week when you're trying to clean out your fridge or if you're like me and you find something random in the back of the fridge and you're like, ooh, when did I make that? So if I have a date on it, I know how old it is and I know whether to throw it out or not. Um, so this morning I had a craving for some pancakes. So I made some pancakes, which, well, that side doesn't look very good, but um, <laughs> they're dairy-free pancakes. That side looks much better. Um, and did the same thing, made the pancake, and then I put it on there. Of course, I was making the cauliflower at the same time, so I accidentally put cauliflower on there, but then I scratched it out. So pancake, the date, and for me, it's gluten-free and dairy-free. And I know nobody will touch it if it's gluten-free or dairy-free. Um, and then I write it on the side as well. So gluten-free, dairy-free pancakes, and the date. So. If you ever come to my house and you look at my fridge, a lot of my items are stacked and that is the way. Um, so when it's in the fridge, I can see that it's stacked like that. So I know what it is and I can just grab it. It's so much easier because I don't know how you guys are with your fridge. Um, there's four of us, so a lot of times, you know, things are facing the wrong way and you have to pull them out, look at them, smell them, that kind of thing to see if they're any good. This is a time saver. So again, prep your food, let it cool, put it in a Tupperware container or a Pyrex, whatever you prefer, and then take a dry erase marker, write what it is and the date that you made it, and it's so easy. And especially when you have to clean out your fridge, you know exactly what to toss and what to keep. Um, if you're interested in learning more tips or learning how to really put a good solid program together, head to shapeitupfitness.com slash call. Click on that request a call button for me and fill out the form and I will be happy to chat with you. Have a wonderful Sunday and I will talk to you soon. Take care.